Hi everyone and welcome to our lighting series. In this episode we're going to cover the post process and how we can use that to change the way lighting behaves inside our world. So to place a post process you go over to place actors and search for post process and you can click and drag this into your world. You'll see a little volume up here and that volume uh, basically means when the camera's inside of it it will apply that post process to the rendering. However you don't have to have it as just a volume, you can make it infinitely extent so it goes across the whole entire world without having you stretch it across the whole entire world. So that's what we're going to do here. So rather than just focusing on just uh, just inside the box, we'll make it affect the whole level. However, if you've got a part of the level that you want to change the look and feel of it uh, in that specific place, you can use this to do that. So to change it to uh, cover the whole entire level, we're going to go to the details panel and search for infinite extent or unbound tick this box and now apply it everywhere that's the first step next we're going to be covering how we can use it to improve our indirect illumination so in a previous episode we set up the indirect illumination of this interior scene so if i go to the details panel of my post process volume now and if i search in the details box for uh, indirect illumination you've got the option for indirect illumination color and uh, intensity. I'm going to tick intensity and I'm going to increase the intensity and you can see the room get brighter and basically what it's doing is multiplying the indirect illumination of all the light sources inside this uh, level and multiplying it so you get a brighter environment. The indirect color if you click on there you can change the color to give a slight hint so if you want the level to feel colder you can make it feel colder by adding a bit more blue to it and a lot less of the red and green. Likewise, if you want to get warmer, you probably add more red. Or orange sort of colours. And that affects the lighting of the indirect illumination, which is quite cool because it affects pretty much the whole entire space. Now notice it hasn't affected the outside. That's because the outside doesn't have any lights with indirect illumination. All we have is this, in, this directional light, which doesn't have it. So nothing out here will be affected by that post process. It's only affecting the, what is lit by these spotlights. To show you that infinite extent working, we're going to tick that off and show you that working so now you can see it's off but if I move the camera inside of it you can see it fade into that new post process now post process volume has tons of other features uh, let's just put, actually put that uh, unbound back on so again with the lighting um, we can uh, change certain things so let me just turn off this color so we've got back to just the white light here um, another thing we can do is change the maximum and minimum brightness. So if I search for brightness, you'll see exposure. And I can change the minimum and maximum brightness for this. And you can tick these on and you can control these values and you'll see how it affects the world. So minimum brightness, you can set it up like that and you can control how bright the whole entire world is if you want it to go nuts or be more subtle. This is especially useful when you're doing auto exposure and you want to say control the brightness of an interior scene or a cave or something like that and don't, don't really want to trust auto exposure just to go nuts with it. You can sort of put a hand on it. Okay. And again, that's another way of lighting up your interior scene in a more consistent fashion. So you've got more of a smooth transition of light going on here. Okay. And the post process volume has tons of options. We're not going to cover them all in this video. There'll be many more videos to come down the line where we tackle more of these and we cover them a bit more in depth. But for now, that's all I want to do and leave it as that. So if you want to see more videos on lighting and other videos on the whole entire engine itself, check out my Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady. One dollar donation will get you access to loads of videos before anyone else, access to the Discord, as well as many other benefits available for higher tiers as well. That includes project files and voting privileges on future content. Thank you all to all my patrons for their continued support. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps me out greatly. 
If you have any suggestions for future content, please leave a comment below and I'll be eager to look forward uh, to reading what you guys want to see. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.